The other day, I have discovered an agency that is providing some really bad services, and that got me thinking. How can you, as a client, actually find a professional agency that delivers you proper results? Let's find out more about that today. I'm your host, Chris, and this is the UX Globals Podcast. Alright, obviously it is always individual taste what a good and what a bad service is. For some companies a good service might be that they get a very low price and therefore have less expenses. If they want to go with that approach I am truly fine with that. But if you want to know how you can check if an agency is actually doing a good job, here are some quick tips for you. Number 1. Check out the agency's history and current portfolio. Many agencies have started with print media and extended their business into the web industry, simply by using their print skills for a completely different technology. My advice therefore is that you should check the agency's history. If they came from the print industry, ask them how they got into the digital industry and how they gained the knowledge that is required for this field. The biggest difference between digital and analog solutions is that print media have a fixed format. A paper will not change its size, so the design can be created for one specific ratio. Digital solutions, especially websites however, will be used on many different devices like smartphones, tablets, laptops and desktop computers. Number 2. References are essential for any professional agency. If they can provide you some good, not many references, that is a good sign that they are doing a great job. Of course, they can also provide you many good references, but the important aspect is that the references are awesome. On the other hand, if they provide you many poorly made references, it seems like they are not taking care of their clients and only want to get as many jobs done as possible. So those were the first two arguments and there are two more to come after today's music break. The most important aspect that makes an agency professional is their workflow. Do they let you tell them what they should do or do they advise you and guide you through the process? If you are the one who tells the agency what they need to do, you need to be the expert and they are only the hands using the tools to create what you want. A good agency will always deliver options you can choose from and will offer you a research what needs to be done before actually doing anything. But why? Because they want to add value to your company by providing a service that you actually need. If you for example want a new logo but the problem is the color palette of your brand, how would a new logo help you? It would not change a thing. A professional agency will do the diagnosis for you, like a doctor in the hospital. You also would not go there and tell them what they have to do. You go there and tell them how you feel and they will make a diagnosis and will tell you what needs to be done. And it is the exact same thing with professional agencies. And the fourth and last variable that makes an agency more professional is the price. A professional agency will not show you any prices on their websites and will not charge you hourly. They will charge you based on the value they create for your company or brand and not for the hours they work. Unprofessional agencies, however, will show low prices on their web page, which should make them more attractive as they cannot provide any real value, only services. In the end, it all comes down to these two things. Low quality agencies charge you for the time to do a service and high quality agencies will bring you additional value they will charge you for. A quick comment at the end for all entrepreneurs. Yes, high quality agencies will be more expensive for you in the first place, but they will provide you more value and will make your company grow. 
Thanks a lot for listening and remember, always keep pushing. Have a good one.